Hey there boys and girls, uh, welcome to episode 16 of Sonic Boom TV. Uh, today I went to the Goodwill and I just wanted to see if they had any records. Um, usually they don't, or if they do, they're just like junk that I would never, never want to buy, you know, classical stuff and, uh, you know, gym neighbors and stuff like that, you know, stuff that I, I wouldn't personally want. But today was a little bit different because I went in there and apparently someone brought their collection in and, uh, they had a bunch of good stuff in the, uh, in the bin. It's just one little bin that they have at the, the Goodwill where I live. Uh, and it might have had maybe 100, 200 records in it uh, at the most. Um, but their records are 50 cents a piece. So I couldn't pass up what I got here. Um, and well, most of the records look to be pretty good. Um, they had a lot, they had some stuff that I put back because it was warped. And I have one here that I know is warped, um, but it doesn't have a cover. Uh, and, uh, so I'm hoping that these aren't, aren't warped as well. Um, the records that I looked at, they all look pretty good. Um, they need to be cleaned. Um, the, the covers are in less than perfect condition. I mean, there's spine splits and stuff like that, but for what I got, for what I paid, it, it's all good. Um, so we'll start off with Led Zeppelin 1. I've never owned this album uh, as far as a physical copy. I do have the some MP3 files of that. Uh, that cover. Uh, this one's, you know, got uh, Good Times, Bad Times, Days and Confused, uh, Communication Breakdown, a couple other ones that probably were hits. Um, so I'm really happy to find that one. And then the other one, because I, I have several Led Zeppelin uh, albums. But I never had this one either. This is uh, In Through the Outdoor. Um, I don't even... I, I may have the MP3s of this. I, I don't know. But uh, but I never had that album. So uh, that doesn't have the track listing on the back. So we'll just skip over that one. Then, uh, this is one of the first ones I saw when I got in there. And I thought, oh man, this is funny. I gotta get this. Uh, the Animal House soundtrack uh, from... When is it? Didn't they come out? 78, 79, something like that. Uh, so this one, this one actually, the, the cover is in real nice condition. No spine splits. I don't know if it's got an inner sleeve or not, but most of them don't have inner sleeves either. Um, but I thought that was a good find. That's got some good fun stuff on it. Uh, Twist the Night Away, Tossing and Turning, Shemalama Ding Dong, uh, the Animal House theme, of course, Money, That's What I Want, uh, Shout. And the Faber College theme is on there twice. Oh, and Louie Louie. So that, that's a fun soundtrack. I can't wait to listen to that later. Uh, then uh, Foreigner. Their deb that's not, I don't think this is, this is not their debut album, but this is a self-titled album. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I think I have this, but this is a much better copy. Um, the cover and uh, I look at the record. The record looks nice. Uh, this one's got Feel Like the First Time. Feels Like the First Time. Cold as Ice. Uh, long, Long Way From Home. That's about it. Now, this one, Pat Benatar, get nervous. Was she not a hottie? I mean, look at that woman. She is. She was gorgeous. Uh, I don't know any of the songs on this one though. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can. You probably can't see that on the screen, but uh, but you know, uh, I knew some of her songs when I was growing up, so I, I may know something on there. I just don't know the name of it. Um, then I got this one, The Pretenders. Um, this one I already own, but it's got a it's got a scratch on Brass and Pocket, which is the best song or the most popular song, I should say. Um, and so I saw this one and I said, I'm gonna get this one, see if it's if it works better. Um, you know, for fifty cents, who who can go wrong, right? Uh, then the next three are by Eric Clapton. You got Slow Hand. Um, I've never owned any Eric Clapton uh, albums before. Um, this one's got Cocaine on it. Wonderful Tonight. Uh, is this? Yeah, that's all the ones I know on that one. Um, Eric Clapton's uh, 461 Ocean Boulevard. Uh, I don't know what I know on that one. Don't worry about that one. This one's called 
just Clapton. Um, and no, I'm not going to go over the songs of that one either. <clears throat> then, I almost missed this one, and I know people love this guy. It's James Taylor. It's his greatest hits. Uh, just a plain white cover, basically, with the, the song names there. Uh, something in the way she moves, Carolina in my mind, Country Road. I, I'm assuming that's the same song as uh, the John Denver song. Uh, and I don't know any of the rest of them, but I, I have one of his other albums, I think, maybe two, and I listen to it. It's pretty good. It's not necessarily my, what I want to listen to all the time, but but you know, good. Then next up, uh, a band I had never owned anything by. I don't even think I know any of their songs, but people love them. So, the Almond Brothers Band, uh, Enlightened Rogues. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know any of their songs. And then Greg Almond, uh, Laid Back. Um, you know, I don't know any of, any of his personal songs either. Um, so that might be something worth to check out. Uh, Chicago. I don't know what the name of this album is. Ch Chicago 10 or X, you know, which would seem like they would put that on a cover somewhere, but it's just on the spine. Um, I don't know what the track listing is on that. Chicago's a hit or miss band for me. Um, they had some sappy hits, you know, and some other stuff that they did before they were doing that kind of stuff. So anyway, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Steve Miller bands, Fly Like an Eagle. I don't know if this is a live version of of these songs or not but uh there's take the money and runs on there and uh fly, bleh, fly like an eagle it's hard to read it's in red writing and it's very light anyway then the next two are the same album but i got two of them um i already own this one too so i may be willing to trade one of these uh fleetwood mac self I, I don't know if that's their first album but it's it's probably not uh, this one came out in 75, so it's probably not. And I got the original master recording, which is a mobile fidelity sound. So I, this might be worth something, this one. Um, I, I believe the cover may have a spine split. Mm, no, it doesn't have a spine split, but it's not the best. It doesn't have inner sleeve or anything. So anything that would have came with this, uh, it's not there. So I'm going to check it out and see if it... Uh, if it's worth anything, uh, probably won't trade that one, but I might trade the other one. Then uh, Jackson Brown, um, Holdout. I had a cassette of his when I was a kid. I, don't, I think he's country music. I'm not sure. Uh, if not, he's just kind of rock. But uh, uh, I remember having a, a, a cassette when I was maybe 12, 13, somewhere around there. I don't know where I got it from. Um, I think I might have found it somewhere and, and just held on to it and i probably still have it somewhere in my cassette collection which is boxed away right now um but uh you know jackson brown the next one is poco legend um i always like this album cover i found one of their albums recently i still haven't listened to it um i still don't really know anything about this band except uh, that i like this album cover uh and songs in the back i don't really know any of their songs either uh, average white man. This is the third copy of this I've found. The first two were scratchy as could be. I cleaned them and they just sound they sound horrible as far as the popping and clicking goes. Um, and and it does they don't look scratched up. They just sound bad, bad, bad as far as the surface noise and stuff. And I don't know if it could be fixed with this if I had a better cleaning system, but uh, but anyway, I'm going to try this one. It looks pretty good. Um, the cover has got stains on it, um, which is probably not as good as the other one I have, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the next two are Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. This one is Stranger in Town. <clears throat> this one has uh, Old Time Rock and Roll on it. Everybody knows that song. Uh, that's the only other one I know on that one. And then The Night Moves album which night moves was was the hit song on that uh i don't know any of the others uh that one was the back cover this one back cover is band photo uh this is a soundtrack to a movie called fm uh 
it's a two disc uh, set, and it has Boston, more than a feeling, Jimmy Buffett, Livingston, Saturday Night, don't know that one, Doobie Brothers, it keeps you running, Eagles, Life in the, in the Fast Lane, Dan Fogelberg, uh, There's a Place in the World for a Gambler, Foreigner, Cold as Ice, Billy Joel, uh, Just the Way You Are, Randy Meisner, Bad Man. Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle. So that you know, some of this goes with with that. So it had to do the same collection because a lot of these people on here are the stuff that I got in the other pile. Uh, Tom Petty, Breakdown, uh, Queen, We Will Rock You, Linda Ronstadt, Tumbling Dice, Poor Pitiful Me, Boz Skaggs, Lido Shuffle, Bob Seger, Night Moves, uh, Steely Dan, FM, Do It Again, uh, James Taylor, Your Smiling Face, and Joe Walsh, Life's Been Good. Um, so. This basically got all the hits from all the other ones that I bought, <laughs> uh, pretty much, uh, you know. And then, uh, so I thought that's funny, but but this is gonna be this will be good. This two two album set. Uh, then Janis Joplin, Pearl. The cover has got ring wear out of control uh, on front end and back a little bit, uh, but. Uh, I've always wanted to listen to Janis Joplin, um, and, I, and I never got around to buying anything. It was weird. Um, I mean, I've heard her before, you know. I know I know some of the songs, um, but I, I just never bought any of her albums. And I saw this, and I was like, "Oh man, I got to get that," uh, you know. And I wish the cover was nicer, you know. I mean, it's it's still not too bad. You can see her and get it out of that glare, you know. But it's just got all these spa spots everywhere. Um, and, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't all across in here and everything. But, you know. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, next, Kenny Loggins Live. I've seen so many Kenny Loggins or Loggins and Messina albums. And I'm not really interested in any of them. But for 50 cents, it was a double, double live album. Um, thought I'd give it a try. The only song I know by Kenny Loggins is that... I think it's just called Danger Zone, but the Highway to the Danger Zone song from Top Gun. Uh, you know, I, besides that, I don't think I know any of his songs, um, but that's kind of a cool picture on the back. Uh, fireworks and him flying through the air with his guitar. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Next up, i got three more. Dire Straits. Uh, Self-titled album. Uh, this one has uh, Sultans of Swing on there. You probably know that one. Um, that was the hit. Uh, yeah, it's the only hit on this one. Uh, back cover is pretty simple. Um, I didn't realize that there was another Knopfler in there. I knew Mark Knopfler was the, the vocalist and guitar player, but I didn't know his, I guess, his brother, David Knopfler, Knopfler was in the band as well. Um, I don't have anything else. I think I'm, well, I might have a single by Dire Straits. Um, that's about it. And the, la the second to last one, I should say, is Billy Joel, uh, The Piano Man. Uh, don't know what the songs are on this one. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Piano Man is probably the, the hit. Uh, if I only had the words to tell you, maybe. I don't know. I have some Billy Joel stuff. I don't have this one, though. Um, and the last thing, this was inside one of the albums, uh, and it's warped. I don't, you, you may or may not be able to see how that that is warped. Uh, it's pretty bad. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, this is Nancy, Nancy Sinatra's Boots. Uh, and it looks like it's all cover songs. Uh, it might work. Um, it looks scratched up, though. Um, that's probably why I got stuck in the... In, the, in one of those albums uh, but uh, wait a minute she's got as tears go by which is uh, a Rolling Stone song I believe day trippers a Beatles song uh, it ain't me babe Bob Dylan uh, these boots are made for walking is her hit song um, and then there is a Run For Your Life is another, I don't know if it was a Beatles song, I don't remember that one, but 
Uh, it's it's written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. So uh, that's about it. Um, I paid thirteen dollars for all that. Um, well worth it, I think. I mean, just for a couple of them, I would have paid a couple dollars each for them. Um, you know, like the Led Zeppelin and stuff. Um, you know, if I'd been looking for those. Um, and I don't, I don't know why I hadn't been looking for those because I've I've got most of their albums um, on vinyl, um, a couple of them on CD, um, and I've got others that I downloaded or whatever from from the library or whatever wherever they came from um, on MP3. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, I'm gonna do oof, maybe something else this weekend. Um, I'm hoping to. I don't know if it'll be anything vinyl because I don't plan on going anywhere um, that's going to sell me records because I can't be buying records, uh, full price records anyway. Um, so that's it. Um, talk to you guys later. Subscribe and share and do all that stuff you're supposed to do. And that's it.